you can see, I got my one six scale Lincoln Osiris figure here. Uh ha! As you can see, it's got quite a good resemblance to Robert Downey Jr., who played the actor, playing Kirk Lazarus, playing Lincoln Osiris. Yeah, I'm trying to get the best light here because it's very hard lighting this figure to make it look good. Uh, show off all the weathering and yeah, I think the best light is from above like that. As you can see, it was a once an Iron Man head, and uh, I bought it pretty much as it is now with the re-sculpted hair and the paint job. And I have touched it up a little bit, and give it a black wash to darken the skin down a bit and make it look a bit more, uh, uh, what do you call it? They put the uh, camo camouflage on. So, uh, yeah. And also makes it a bit more, better match to the body because the body's a little bit darker. Paintwork was a little bit lighter. Um, yeah, touch the eyes up. They didn't have any pupils, so I put some pupils in and some gloss varnish and the lips I uh, touched up a little bit with red pastel and uh, glossed them. But yeah, pretty much got the head sculpt as it is though. Paid about 20 quid for the head, this shotgun belt, uh, bullet belt, and uh, got a few other bits. Can't remember who off. Why is old? Give you a shout out. Um, got the outfit off uh, George Wall of Fate on Facebook. It was a Wolverine custom figure, so I swapped out the body. Didn't didn't need the head, so got it a bit cheaper. Yeah, it come with some recasted boots, some uh, Joe Colton boots. But I swapped them out for these ones. I think these are Che Guevara boots. Um, Come with pistol, it come with a few other bits and pieces which I might add on later, canteens and such. But uh, we just got just a stripped down version here. Did uh, fatten up the figure a little bit, give him a bit of a gut, give him some dog tags, and uh, weathered up the outfit with chalk pastels and um, watered down brown paint. This base here was a McFarlane Predator base and I just added a few little plasticky cheapy plants. The helmet here is quite nice, it's a metal helmet, that's supposed to be a panther. A little bit uh, a little bit wrong. And black power and the fist. It does kind of resemble what's in the film. So that's pretty good. Just got to add a few little more details like um, pack of bullets and some bottles of oil so I'll try and find something to uh, go on there but yeah I'm pretty happy with it overall it's cost a few quid um, but uh, I really like the film um, watched part of it there this morning just to uh, recap a few things and to get some screen grabs to do the uh, artwork <laughs> On the helmet and uh, yeah some yeah, obviously some classic lines like never go full retard and uh, you know the, the whole Tom Cruise thing and everything but I think you know this has got to be one of uh, Robert Downey Jr's <laughs> funniest roles and uh, maybe not so politically correct but I don't give a shit about all that I mean it's just very funny, very funny. So, um, yeah, let's give you a quick little 360. Hopefully, it doesn't fall over because it is a bit wobbly. These bodies are not the best, these knockoff bodies. Joints are pretty loose. So, I might have to tighten those ankle joints up a little bit, but 
it will display OK. It's just held on with blue tack at the moment. So I'll do that a little bit better in future. And I had a few patches in the film. We had the insignia, I think it's Airborne Rangers. Might be wrong there, but uh, yeah, I mean, the, the one thing I will say about the film is very, um, very good outfits, very uh, true to the era. And each character's outfit, helmet, you know, had its own character and. Uh, graffiti and stuff and they're uh, really really well done and the comedy side of it very funny as well so yeah underrated film I wasn't that impressed with it when I first saw it but um grown to like it more and more and more times I've watched it and I say Robert Downey steals the show mind you Tom Cruise pretty good as well but yeah definitely um, definitely stole the show I picked up the uh, shotgun for about a tenner off eBay and uh, chopped down the barrel and I chopped down the butt had a few bits of moss here and there on the base and I think that's about it really yeah really happy how it's turned out it's got I'd say the insignia on the side the army right in there and that's pretty much him done oh and there he goes never go full retard I'm out of here take it easy